Hello and welcome to today's UPI News Webcast. I'm Kristen Volk on this Wednesday, the 11th day of June 2008. President Bush says he has no regrets about invading Iraq and taking down Saddam Hussein. Bush made the comment while speaking at a press conference in Germany during his final visit to Europe as president. He also reiterated his determination to force Iran to halt its nuclear program. Yesterday, the U.S. and European Union issued a joint declaration urging tougher action against Iran if it doesn't suspend its nuclear enrichment plan. And Representative Dennis Kucinich has introduced a resolution into the House of Representatives to impeach President Bush. The former Democratic presidential candidate from Ohio says Bush manufactured a false case for the Iraq War and violated U.S. and international law to invade the country. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has said she won't support a resolution calling for Bush's impeachment, saying such a move was unlikely to succeed and would be divisive. Last year, the congressman introduced a resolution to impeach Vice President Dick Cheney. It's now in the House Judiciary Committee, where the chairman has taken no action on it. And residents along the Mississippi River are bracing for what may be the worst flooding in 15 years. Rising rivers wiped out an Iowa railroad bridge yesterday and flooded farmland in Illinois. In Cedar Falls, Iowa, residents evacuated the downtown area as the Cedar River threatened to spill over a levee. Levee breaks did happen in southeastern Illinois, forcing the evacuation of homes. Officials there say water was up to the roofs in some places. The National Weather Service is predicting crests of 10 feet above flood stage and higher over the next two weeks. And Senator Barack Obama's vice presidential search team is reportedly considering about 20 people to be the presumptive Democratic nominee's running mate. The team shared their list with Democratic Senator Kent Conrad yesterday to apparently get his impressions about the possible picks. Conrad said some are considered top officials now, others are former lawmakers, and others are former top military leaders. He also said some have been mentioned in the media, but some were, quote, outside the box. On the Republican side, Senator John McCain hasn't picked his VP yet, but joked on Monday that the popular search engine Google has made his job of investigating a possible running mate a little bit easier. Thanks for watching today's news webcast and check out UPI.com for our latest feature story called Students Say I Do to Wedding Course. That's all for now.